hello students so today we are going to learn about pseudo codes okay so with respect to the problem solving techniques so we have seen the algorithm writing or writing some algorithms in order to solve the problem similarly drawing flow charts so which is a graphical representation of algorithm of course the very next step uh, probably is pseudo code or writing pseudo codes okay so pseudo code is nothing but which is very close to the uh, programming language instructions like say c c++ java okay so algorithm is almost descriptive idea descriptive way. so you are going to write the entire sentence english like sentence in order to do a specific task so suppose if you want to input a value so read two numbers say like that or print these two numbers or display the results of that so like that or check whether the string is uh, say in reverse so like that you are going to do or descriptive way of uh, putting some ideas so that is nothing but uh, algorithm similarly a flowchart is nothing but a drawing uh, the algorithm or implementation of algorithm so by using the symbols okay by using the symbols so you have seen uh, what is the symbol for input and output what is the symbol for start and stop so what is the symbol for process what is the symbol for repeat or decision making and what are the lines connecting lines okay so these are so with that so there is one extension part of course so i will give one information important information for you so that is so in uh, today problem solving technique today's problem solving techniques almost algorithms and pseudo codes are merged algorithms and pseudo codes are merged okay so even though so we are telling or we are teaching this particular thing separately for you but definitely uh, in today's system of uh, so problem solution problem solving techniques this pseudo code and what you can say uh, the algorithms are merged together okay so pseudo code is nothing but so it is programming like statements to depict the algorithm nothing it's not uh, respect with the flow chart it's very close to of course the algorithm so employs programming like statements to depict uh, what is the algorithm so no standard format like any language like c or c++ or java you need not to follow any syntaxes so in order to write some statements in c you need to follow some uh, rules and regulations similarly for c++ or java if you have not followed some certain language uh, syntaxes or rules so probably you will have the error but here in writing pseudo code so pseudo codes are not going to be executed in any of the programming languages again it is um, the manual way of uh, solving the problem itself okay so it is called employs programming like statements to depict the algorithm okay so in the uh, pseudo code statements we will have again the output statements input statements the process statements decision statements and repetitions so these are the very important parts very important input output process decision and repetition so output is nothing but whenever or when we want to display the output output means obtained values calculated values input is nothing but most of the times for the problem solution we need to input or feed some data to the problem process is nothing but the calculation or manipulation it's a calculation you are going to calculate the area you are going to calculate the factorial you are going to calculate the sum so like that okay decision making decision is nothing but so you need to check the uh, obtained value sometimes or inputted value obtained value means processed value or sometimes you are going to check the inputted value so depending upon the decision whether it is true or false we are going to execute certain set of statements isn't it so that is decision making repetition is nothing but so if you are going to do some certain tasks for repeatedly for five times or n times 
So all programs or all tasks will not be completed at one glance or one step, one attempt. So in some of the problems, we need to do the similar task for many times. Similar tasks. These are nothing but similar tasks for several times, n times, say n times. If you do these tasks for five times, so it is completed. Okay. Six times the control will come to here and it will display something. So that is the best uh, practice of uh, the repetition structure. Okay. So here, look the telephone number. And the example is they are calling up a friend. Look up the telephone number. So which is the telephone number of my friend and enter telephone number or type or they select the contact and wait for some uh, someone to answer so if you want to call if you want to talk with your friend so probably in your using your mobile so what you are going to do is you are picking the contact number of your friend okay so then you will dial it and will wait for someone to answer it okay so similarly so okay so most of the times we are, we are going to use the variables itself these are nothing but the symbols used to store values of course in the program we are going to say read n we are going to say read n n is nothing but sometimes we are going to say read a comma b a and b are variables so in order to find the area of triangle you are going to read the radius or length and breadth in terms of say rectangle area in order to find the recta area of rectangle like okay so in order to uh, find the area of triangle probably so you are going to say a b c you are going to input a b c so like that for some programs or solution of some problems we need to input some values so we have to input the values in terms of symbols or say variables in programming it is called variable or variables okay the value stored can change during the algorithm or during the execution say if you say a equal to something in while inputting say if you say a equal to 10 say b equal to say 20 value stored can change during the algorithm so in some cases what you want to do is initially we said a equal to 10 means we have inputted 10 into a and 20 into b but for some purpose we need to exchange these things means swap these two a dali 20 barbeko b dali 10 barbeko so it can tell you swap you need to change so and then next after that a equal to 20 barbeko and b equal to 10 so this is nothing but interchange or swap but initially while inputting the values for these two variables we said a equal to 10 means in a we have inputted 10 in b we have inputted 20 but for some purpose so we need to exchange these two values means 20 here and 10 here so after the swap so a will have the value 20 and b will have the value 10 so this can be done this can be done so if you have used the variables okay fine next in order to output so general form line of text and variable while displaying output in the pseudo code or say program simply so there are two types of uh, formats of outputting the first one is line of text means output message so most of the times we are say uh, file not found or uh, the value not found value not found or sometimes we are just displaying like b is big or a is big or c is big or a is big so these types of messages are going to be displayed we are not going to display the b value or c value or a value isn't it so simply we are displaying a message we are displaying a message output message so message is nothing but a text or string so we'll put this one in single quote or double quote okay fine next 
variable output name of variable for example output available credit limit is limit so sometimes we are going to say the sum of the sum is sum is so here the sum will be displayed so whatever it may be how the sum will be displayed there is a variable called sum so you will say sum so this sum is variable which returns its value here in the place provided to it athwa new sum is another string idike idana concat and it made concat means combine you can combine the variable name along with this message or simply you can say so one who have worked with c or c++ or java you can easily understand otherwise anyway from the next week means from monday so we'll have the uh, sessions on c language only okay so there you can easily understand so how to display values how to display message how to input the values how to calculate in which format you need to write the program etc okay so fine output available credit limit is so most of the times if you display like it is 75 you will display 75 what is this 75 we cannot understand so it may be the output output is 75 so this is general format output is 75 what exactly is 75 75 is sum what exactly 120 120 is the factorial value of what exactly 12.76 it is the area of circle the area of circle is 12.76 so if you prefix value or if you join the values or text to the variable like limit or whatever it may be or variables value then it will easily known to the user or the programmer okay so for that uh, in order to display or output the things so there are two formats line of text can be displayed or printed as output variable can be displayed at all variable means variables values values of the variables okay fine next for the similarly for input general for input name of variable input user name so input user name input radius input uh, a and b input length and breadth input width input height input roll number input name input marks input age like that so you are going to input the variable name so here you cannot input simply text okay if you want to input anything so it may be text or it may be a uh, numerical value so you need to say input input say name or input roll number or input marks like that you, have, you need to say okay so that that is nothing but inputting so here also for inputting so we should use some proper uh, comments like input you marks input name along with the variable itself okay next in order to process so general format is variable arithmetic expression so x so it is nothing but it is equal to x equal to 2 probably we are not using equal sign here so instead of equal sign we are using arrows here please remember this is very best example for it x left arrow 2 means this 2 will be stored in x or it is exactly equal to x equal to 2 instead of saying x equal to 2 directly in the pseudo code we are using x arrow always in the computer calculation or manipulation always in the computer calculation or the manipulation the values will be assigned from right to left if you say x equal to 10 so 10 will be assigned to x x equal to say 10 or 2 if you say x 2 means in x 2 will be stored similarly x equal to x plus 1 here x equal to x plus 1 means whatever values there in the x say x in x there will be 2 isn't it 
टू इज सो राइट हैंड साइड राइट हैंड साइड टू लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एल एच एस आर एच एस वैल्यूस ऐन एल एच एस असैन आते सो एक्सक्वल टू एक्स प्लस वन अंतर्रे आलरे एक्सएल ऐन इट इस टू प्लस वन मीन इट विल आडेड सो प्रोव विल दट इज वि थ्री सो दट थ्री विल असैन टू एक्स ओके सो मीन एक्स विल अटेड एक्स विल अटेड नेक्स्ट वन इज एक्वल टू ए आरो इंटू सी मीन बी इंटू सी बी इंटू सी विल पर्फॉम फस्ट सपोज एस टू वैल्यू सी एस थ्री वैल्यू so this will be multiplied that is totally it is 6 then this 6 will be assigned to a a equal to b into c means b value and c value will be multiplied whatever will be the values obtained that will be finally assigned to a this is the way of process in the computer always remember if you say c equal to a plus b a and b will be added first or values of a and b will be added first and finally it will be assigned to c if you say c equal to c plus 2 means current c value will be added with 2 means c will be incremented by 2 and finally it will be assigned to c suppose if 20 is already there in c 20 plus 2 that is 22 22 will be finally assigned to c so See in C there will be twenty two well, okay. So like that, this is nothing but a process. So sometimes we need to check means you have to take the decision. So decision making statement is basically if then or if then statements, okay. So general format is if condition is met, if condition is true, then statements. So simply so already you have worked with this with the flow chart or also in the algorithm itself. but simple pseudo code is so simple than the algorithm or flow chart it is very close to programming language any programming language so pseudo code uh, will be very close to the programming language but it will not have any uh, programming language syntax okay fine if condition is met then statements example if temperature is less than 0 so this is condition isn't it this is condition so temperature is variable if temperature is say minus 10 temperature variable value is minus 10 minus 10 is less than 0 isn't it so where is jacket so this is our process this is our process if the number is less than 0 so we'll say it is negative if the number is greater than 0 we'll say it is positive If we say if n percentage two is equal to zero, andre two in the n ke divide mar daga remainder zero bar to andre that is even number. If it is not zero, that is it is odd number. So thousands of times, crores of time we are going to check the condition. That is called decision making statements. Probably if it ki non desli the selection structure on thodi the. this is also called selection structure because we are going to select the execution path execution path what is the set of statement to be executed if is true one set of statement will be executed if false another set of statement will be executed fine next if then else here if the condition is true then it will be executed if the condition is false this statement or block is say so this is say a block it is a b block so here there are some statements before this if if the certain condition is true then only this or set of statements will be executed otherwise this statement but any one this one or this one will be executed if it is ex to be executed then this will not be executed if this will be executed then this will not be executed. this one or this one else means when condition is false then it will be executed true means these statements will be executed so totally what i can say is this block or this block will be executed depending upon the condition 
depending upon the condition so always if then else block or selection structure will execute any one block or statement okay next here if at work then dress formally if you are not at work dress casually so these are the some general what i can say decisions that we are going to take okay most of the times as i have told earlier repetition structures can be used to implement the completion of a task in order to complete the task we are going to use the repetition uh, what is it as tasks repetition means the same or similar steps will be executed for several times same four steps 1 2 3 4 steps will be executed for 10 times in order to complete it so one time i have told something so there will be say hammer there will be hammer so using this you are going to cut this one okay here there is a rod something okay so using this hammer okay you want to cut this one at one stroke at one stroke probably this particular object will not be broken will not be broken so you need more than one uh, what i can say hammering for it okay you need to strike on this for say five times then will it will be broken it will be broken like this so similarly in most of the cases we need to do the same type of task a same sequence of statements to be executed for many times it is not say 10 or 5 okay it depends upon the situation so let us say n times you need to execute block of statement block for n times n may be 0 n may be 1 n may be any any number okay so for that so we need to use two repetition structures like repeat until or while do while condition repeat until so repeat until means what until the value reaches to particular things you need to do it okay until the value reaches to say 100 while do means while condition as well as the condition is true while means as well as the condition is true you need to execute this one okay so both of structures both of repetition structures in uh, intention is same but the condition will be different the while means it will have the condition at the initial block repeat until will be having the condition at last so if this is a block of statement to be executed while will be put here but suppose if you use repeat until then until will be used here or so depending upon the place of the condition at the beginning or at the end so you can say it is repeat until or why so both can be uh, what you can say available both are allowed okay again there are slight differences between those two so that will be taught to you in the c programming okay so you repeat statements until condition is true repeat again go up the uh, buffet table until full until full so this is repeat until so there is an example okay repeat you execute these statements until certain condition is met as i have told okay for the while it what is while condition is met then statements will be executed see the differences here statements are executed first and at the end of this one there will be condition so if it is a block the condition is here here the, there are the statements to be executed but in the case of say while condition will be at beginning as i have told here condition is that while condition is that and here there are statements to be executed while students ask questions answer questions andre elli every students are questions keltharo alli vige question ig answer maadi elli question 
ಏನು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಮಾಡೋದನ್ನು ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಅವರು ಯು ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಅವ್ರು ಕ್ವಶನ್ನೇ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೀರ ಸೊ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಈ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಡೂದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಲ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಈಗ ಸಿಡೋ ಕೋಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸೊ ಎ ಟಿ ಎಮ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಶೋ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಪಾಸಿಟ್ ವಿತ್ಡ್ರಾ ಕ್ವಿಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಟ್ ಅವರೆಟ್ ಮೈಪ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಟೋಮಿ ಮೀಕ್ ನಾನ್ ಡಿವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಸೊ ಅದು ಏನು ಇರ್ಬೋದು ವಿತ್ಡ್ರಾ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಡಿಪಾಸಿಟ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಚೂಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ನೋಡಿ ಓಕೆ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಈಗ ಎ ಟಿ ಎಮ್ಎ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಎ ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಲಿಪ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಶೋ ದಿ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಪಿನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರ ಓಕೆ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ದೆರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ವಿತ್ಡ್ರಾವಲ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೇ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಸೆಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವಿತ್ಡ್ರಾ ವಿತ್ಡ್ರಾವಲ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ಡ್ರಾವಲ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ಡ್ರಾವಲ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಎಸ್ ಬಿ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೂಟಬಲ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗಿವ್ ಎರ ಅಲರ್ಟ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗಿವ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಸಫಿಷಿಯೆಂಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ರಿಪೀಟೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಡನ್ ಎನಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಯು ವೆದರ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ರಿಪೀಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ದಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಎಸ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಸೇ ನೋ ದೆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು